Honduran authorities destroyed hundreds of weapons, including rifles, pistols and revolvers, seized in the last 15 days from gang members in five of the country's main prisons. At the headquarters of the Public Order Military Police, PMOP, south of Tegucigalpa, military personnel destroyed the weapons in a cutting machine. They also detonated 24 grenades and other explosives in holes in the ground. The PMOP gave a list of what was seized, about 40 Arkansas 15, AK-47 and Uzi rifles, among others, 222 pistols and revolvers, about 240 charges, 23,860 projectiles of different calibers, communication systems, televisions, sound equipment, video games and cash, among hundreds of other prohibited items. The commander of the PMOP, Colonel Ramiro Fernando Munoz, said that it is the beginning of the whole process to pacify the prisons, which will last throughout the year. The operations began on June 26 on the orders of President Castro, a week after inmates from the Barrio 18 gang in the women's prison located in the Tamara area, north of Tegucigalpa left their unit and broke into the prison. Castro ordered the PMOP to take control of the country's 21 penal centers. When the deployment began, Commander Munoz denounced that the weapons were brought into the prisons by the gang members paying bribes to the custodians.